Hello. So I've recently picked up the Jewel Dagger from Shackmat, which is not a company I know very much about, but after messing about with this and checking out some of their other modules, they're definitely a company doing some very cool things. Some of you may know that I used to own a Q-Pass and then Blades, both of which are great modules, but well, firstly, they're, they're too big for this rack that I'm using at the moment. And secondly, they're not as immediate as the Jewel Dagger is. Um, with Q-Pass, if you wanted to change from a low-pass to a high-pass filter, you would have to change the outputs. And with Blades, you would have to change two knobs at once instead of just one. Um, so it wasn't ideal for performance, whereas this is so much easier. You've got a low pass and a high pass right there. And there's actually a lot of other features packed into this. Um, so let's, let's check out what's going on, do some patches and see what it's all about. So up the top we have the low pass cut off. <laughs> We have resonance in the middle here. The resonance, uh, the filter does self oscillate and can be played uh, one volt per octave, which we'll take a look at later in the video. Um, down the bottom we have the high pass filter. There are switches to engage or disengage the resonance for the low pass and the high pass filter and there's a link switch which kind of turns it into a band pass filter and we have stereo in, stereo out and modulation over the low pass, resonance and high pass. Let's try that out. Get an LFO from Maths here. Why? 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 
Let's give the high pass a shot. Here we go. It's really cool that you can use both filters at the same time. <laughs> Another very cool feature is the pan inputs. I guess because because it's a stereo filter, there are two low pass filters and two high pass filters. And you can use the modulation input to change the panning of the left and right filter. So let's try that out. I'm using this sound here. <laughs> my favorite sound of the moment. I'm going to put the low, the high pass pan here. I would heavily recommend using um, headphones or monitors for this. Really swirling around. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's me going into the the audio rate with mass. Yeah, that is really cool, really unique. I've not really encountered a module that acts that way, certainly not a filter. And it's kind of, it's like really fun to experiment with because I'm never like certain what it's going to do. So the dual dagger can self oscillate and be tracked one volt per octave. But this is a extra cool because it's a stereo filter and you've got all this modulation stuff going on. So let's do the basic sine wave first. And because it's two sine waves, you do get a slight chorusing. You could also engage the low pass um, resonance and get harmonizing reson resonance, which you can then also track. To get some nice harmonizing sine waves. Um, the low pass will still function as a filter, which becomes really cool when you start to get mad modulation happening. And of course you could always bring in reverb and... ...do things like that. Yeah, as I said, it gets really fun when you start adding sort of audio rate modulation into the pan and the filter inputs. So let's do a kind of basic... <laughs> That's a very basic um, sequence. And start... Start doing some modulation. Bow, 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 bow,
you kind of get endless amount of sounds out of this thing and you, you're never entirely sure what you're going to get which could make it dangerous to use live or exciting but definitely it makes it unique I know for a fact I could never recreate that jam that I just did there but also know for a fact that it's so much fun. checking out this mad filter it's really cool i'm very happy with it um, please leave a wee comment and a like and all the other stuff blah 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 and i'll catch you next time